In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between a literature review and a research paper introduction. A literature review is meant to review literature on a specific topic. It can also tell a story of a specific scientific discovery or even explain the current field of research to somebody who doesn't know about that field of research. On the other hand, in a research introduction, you want to make sure that you're giving context for the study so that the reader can understand what you've done within a study. You want to introduce the reader to the background knowledge that they would need to be able to also understand what you're doing in the study. And then you also want to introduce them to the study itself. So tell them what they can expect to find if they continue reading on in your study. Even though a literature review and an introduction have very different purposes, they also have different structures. So in a literature review, you first want to start out by uh, stating why the field is important. In an introduction, you're also going to start out by the same thing. So this is giving the reader the ability to understand why they should even read your paper. So next in your literature review, you want to talk about what you are studying. So giving the reader the basic background knowledge that they need to understand what you're actually talking about is and what it does. The next step in your introduction as well is also to just talk about what you are studying and giving them that background knowledge. And here is where they start going differently. So the next thing you want to do in your literature review is actually tell the story of the research that you're covering. So if there's a specific topic you're covering, you want to actually walk them step by step, paper through paper, through that story of that research. On the other hand, for your introduction, you're specifically contextualizing your research. So you want to give them the first couple steps prior to what you did or the literature that influenced how you created your study that you're talking about in that paper. In my literature review, I'm going to finish out by giving a summary of what everything I've covered in my literature review, and then also talk about what should be done next in that type of research and tell the future directions for that field. For your introduction, you want to finish out by discussing what you actually did in the study that you're going to talk about within that paper. And so you give them a little introduction to let them know what's going to be happening in that study. So when you're writing these, it might be difficult to know how much literature you should cover in a lit review versus an introduction. So I wanted to give you an example from my own papers that I've written of a literature review that I wrote um, about steroid analysis by ion mobility and a research paper I wrote that looked at steroid analysis um, through ion mobility with metal adduction. And so in my literature review, I covered papers that talked about um, LC-IMS, MS, which is chromatography coupled to IM mobility, just IMS-MS, so without the chromatography element. I also covered papers that talked about using metal adduction to analyze steroids, using derivatization, and then also papers that just looked at actually analyzing biological samples for steroids. So you have a wider range of papers and there was about six to 12 papers within that literature review that I covered. On the other hand, in my introduction to my research paper, I don't want to cover the large range of topics that I would cover in my literature review. So instead, I specifically focused on papers that only talked about IMSMS because in my research, I'm not covering anything with chromatography in it. I specifically focused on papers that were using metal adduction, and I went on a deeper dive into these papers to give my reader a good understanding of how I was adding on to the field of where what has been done before in the field of metal adduction and then how I was adding to it. And then finally, I did cover a paper on derivatization. And this is primarily because there aren't as many papers in my field. So this paper on derivatization was where I showed where the field had come up to metal adduction and then why we needed another type of system to analyze steroids other than 
just derivatization. Ultimately, in a literature review, you're going to have a wider range of background that you're going to go more in depth with. And in a research introduction, you're going to have a much smaller range of literature that you might not go as in depth with just because you want to give context for your study instead of talking about that literature in itself. If you are working on your own papers, I highly suggest you check out my scientific research paper checklist that you can get the link in the description below and this will help you go through all of the steps to prepare your paper from data to publication. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you.